Another tip you can use for proving trigonometric identities is the following. Try using a Pythagorean identity when squares or square roots are involved in the, in the identity, right? So you see this identity we want to prove. Sine plus cosine squared is equal to 1 plus 2 sine theta cosine theta, okay? Now, the left-hand side does involve a square, so not initially, but maybe at some point, a, tr the, a Pythagorean identity would be useful. So let's start with the left-hand side, which is sine theta plus cosine theta squared. And so without a better option, maybe what we'd start off as we just foil it out. So because you're squaring this thing, this is sine theta plus cosine theta times sine theta plus cosine theta. For which when you foil that out, right, first outside, inside, last, right? So you have all of those. So there's the F, O, I, L right here. You get sine times sine, which is a sine squared theta. You're going to get a sine times cosine. Uh, next, you're going to get a cosine times sine. And then lastly, you get a cosine times cosine, so cosine squared like so. And so now my, trigon my trigonometric identity is, my sense is tingling right now, right? I have this sine squared and a cosine squared. If I put those together, this is where the Pythagorean identity is going to come into play. Sine squared plus cosine squared theta, right? You have that. And then also notice with the sine cosine and the cosine sine, well, because multiplication commutes, sine cosine is the same thing as cosine sine. Those things are the same thing. So let's take that here, sine theta, cosine theta. And then for the second one, we're going to switch it around. Sine theta, cosine theta, like so. For which then, if we use the Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1, right? Remember that one. Cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So we can take the sine squared plus cosine squared and uh, we can switch it to a 1. And then you have sine cosine plus sine cosine that doubles up to give you 2 sine theta cosine theta. Which then we notice that this is in fact the right hand side of our identity. And therefore, we've now proven the identity as a consequence of some algebraic maneuvers and the Pythagorean identity. When you have squares or square roots involved, a Pythagorean identity is probably going to be very useful for you. And so that then gives us trigonometric identity tip number three.